this here is Barton Barracks. This previously was probably 141 signal. It wasn't probably it was. And that was the garrison headquarters until recently. Now it belongs to the engineers. So let's head on out. Leave Barton Barracks. <laughs> like this guy did. Go the wrong way down a one way street. As you're leaving the gate, this old building in the, through the woods you can barely see. It used to be home of the 38 PSB. Coming up here, this building here to the right. Shot pause for the cause. So now we're back on again, leaving Barton Barracks. And you know, I just had to pause the camera because for security reasons, you should not record the gate. Just want to say I do think about security. So this Barton to the to the left there. A lot of things have changed. That's where I first started working at as a civilian. And this building up in front here is apartment housing. It used to be blight on leased housing a long time ago. The Romans took that back over. Blighton housing area still exists. All right, let's go look at uh, Blighton Concern before we go back. Not really sure how this goes down here, but we'll see. But I think the whole housing area is fenced in. The blood on concern, not so much. The polar's eye owns blood on concern. So this was my old stumping ground here. Concern is really different. One of the buildings is gone. It looks nothing like it used to. <laughs> Very different. One of the buildings are gone. I see headquarters battery, the old mess hall. Yep, blind on concern is not what it used to be. So we'll just go and get out of here. Concern is right there. Hmm. Very different. It's actually like they tore down under the barracks, or used to be barracks. But 
the old Blight on Club was left on the still here. <clears throat> but it's the Terrace Playhouse of the White Building to the right. The Army's still hanging on to that. And a lot of the houses. And we're going down the hill into on spot. And headed to Kalkerbach. So I'm clearing some things today. Because next week I will be retired from retired from everything from from the army and civil service now. Second retirement. So I'm happy everything worked out. Got a lot of stuff done today with Social Security. <clears throat> that was a blessing. Got some really good news on that and pay. And, uh, got a lot of things signed off on my checklist. Mailed my brother and sister in law a box of German candy and Some late cooking or, or German Christmas cookies, a little odd vents calendar. They'll get a kick out of that. Bought a lot of stuff. 12 pounds, mailed off 12 pounds of cakes and cookies and chocolate. So that should hold them for a while. This is Ansbach from another view. Anybody been here back in the day knows it's totally different than, than what you would remember folks were stationed back here in the 80s or even in the 90s. Hans Bach has changed a lot. Doesn't have as many um, bars and guest houses as it used to have. You find that odd, at least I do in Germany, that you have to really look for something called a guest house. And that's a rarity. It's almost like Germans are getting away, away from their own German tradition. But that's really here in, in Ansbach. Other places are not the same. There are a few guest houses, but most have clothes. So you want to get off work and go have a beer? Ain't happening here. And a lot of restaurants have closed down this morning. So anyway, we're just going to drive. Look at the traffic. Right back in the day, used to be a club we called the Kitty Bar. Cameron, this white building here to the right, it doesn't exist no more. The Black Kitty Bar, as they so called it. Can't think of the German name, the Biden something. It was called. But Cameron, bless his soul, he's gone now. He had a jumping place. He taught the Germans here how to stay open late and jam. <laughs> Cause Cameron stay open all night. They had some rule back then in the 80s where at midnight all the music had to stop. 
So most bars were closed. Cameron said, I don't care about that. He stopped the music, locked the door. You can drink all you want till the sun came up. That's how Cameron did. Yeah. My brother had it going on. And he sold soul food. He had a German wife. That woman cooked everything. Pig feet, collard greens, she even cooked chitlins. He sold everything there. He made some money. He definitely did. Cameron had a soul food bar over in Germany, the first one. But anyway, that was then. Not a whole lot now. But the Hotel Fantasy, right in front of the Yellow Building, that one's been there for a long time. They used to do a lot of business with the military.
to the little village of Katerba. Can't say town because it's very small. I think it's only got 23 houses there. Used to be a lot of farmers back in the day. That ain't the case today. But all this land you see, a lot of people live in this little town, own it, so they're like rich. <clears throat> Got a little something going on up here. This is the little village of Katerbak, Katerbak. Hence you see Katerbak Kassar. So you have Katerbak Kassar on the right, and you've got Bismarck Kassar on the left. Basically, these days, everything, all the facilities are in Katerbach slash Bismarck right now. Everything moved here, which is something they wanted to do years and years ago, but just never did it for whatever reason. But now it is. quite a long video, over 19 minutes, so we headed back to work, large to go around and clear a few more things that I need to do, my pending retirement ain't really pending anymore, everything's approved, all my money is straight, so going to have to do a little pause with the camera uh, we're about to go to the gate so don't want to give nothing away so uh, tune back in so we pick up again and cut about I remember this archway. We have the post office to the right. The military personnel in and out process and building to the left. And everything else is wherever. traffic circle we went through, it used to be just a four-way intersection. They changed the priority on that thing so many times they could never figure out what to do until somebody came up with the traffic circle off Because they kept changing the priority road. The four-way stop, two-way stop, no stop, you know. Everybody would be confused all the time. So anyway, we're about to take a little break. Out processing and do something that's a little more enjoyable. So, thank you for joining me. This is the Bowling Alley Channel. Bye now.